So whether I'm shooting YouTube videos or I'm shooting weddings or whatever, a quick interview, doesn't really matter. It's always nice to have some spare lights on hand, something to throw on top of a camera or even something that you could just fit right in your pocket so you have it when you need it. I'm going to show you something that was sent to me by Andy Sinney that you might like. Stay right there. You're going to want to see this. So like I mentioned in the intro, um, I like having a light that I can just put right on top of my camera, especially when I'm shooting weddings. I always use two lights off camera, just like I'm shooting this video right now. There's two lights that are lighting me on either side. But then I also like having one right on the camera so that if things are happening where the couple or someone is outside of the light, I can just turn that light on on top of the camera and light my subject. And sometimes, of course, I don't always have those two lights on a light stand just with me at all times. They're not strapped to my, my back like two swords that I just pull out and just, you know what I'm saying? So like it's nice to have a light right on top of the camera at all times from shooting some rings, I'm shooting a bouquet or something. I need a little light. I can just turn on the light on my camera and go. The Andy Cine R1 is perfect for that because it's a nice small size. It can literally fit in your pocket, which I've done. And also, it's also RGB. So a nice little effect that you have is it's not just going to give you your, you know, your 3200 Kelvin or your 5600 Kelvin. No, it can also do what you see behind me. There's a light behind me and <laughs> it's actually the R1. And that is kind of illuminating my background to give me that nice blue background. So that's kind of something you can do with this. And you can switch this to all kinds of colors too. It's not just this color. Uh, you know, this is, you just hit the button here and off she goes. You can turn it to whatever color you like, you know, take your pick. You know, you got yellow, you got red, you got orange, you got purple, you got blues, you got whatever. So I'm gonna go back to the blue that I was on because I like, I like my blue. So that's a nice effect you can do. So you can use it to kind of like as an accent light that you can light your background with, change the color. You can even light your subject with a crazy uh, source of light like that too if you want to do some, some nice looking uh, lighting effects or whatever. If you're lighting a product or something, maybe you wanna light it with red or blue or yellow instead of just lighting it with you know, your natural kind of yellowish or white lights. Let's just talk about the battery life of it. I found that using something like 4200 Kelvin, which is kind of a bicolor that's gonna give you a mixture of your yellow LEDs and kind of the whitish LEDs, that gave me about an hour and a half. Now, it probably would have given me more if I was just shooting something like, you know, 7200 Kelvin, because believe it or not, th this can go up to 7200 Kelvin. It goes from 2,500, I believe, to 7,200. So that's actually pretty good. So that's your range when you're shooting in your standard kind of bicolor mode. To me, just in using it, it's pretty bright. You know, it's not super bright. Um, obviously, it's a very small light, so you're gonna get like a really hard shadow with it, um, unless you diffuse it, but it's pretty bright. Also, the size of it, like I mentioned before, is really cool because it's it's really that not much bigger than your phone uh, in terms of size. Actually, it's a lot smaller than a lot of phones actually, and the thickness of it is not too too thick either. And it's metal; it's an aluminum casing around it, so it's very sturdy. So if you drop it, you don't have to worry about it just like breaking. It's not cheap plastic. It is actually a very good build quality that you can throw in a bag. It can get bumped around, no problems with any of that. In terms of what it comes with, it comes with a USB-C cable, a little lens cleaning cloth, and a cloth baggie, and a little cold shoe mount to mount to the top of your camera. Now the controls on it are pretty simple. There's just a simple on and off switch, and then you have like a push dial. So you can pretty much just control the brightness and you can control the hue, or you can control the brightness and you can control your Kelvin, depending on what mode you're in. And then it also has another mode, which is your effects mode. There's two effects that I really like. It's the lightning effect, because I could see that being very useful if you're shooting some type of short film, maybe a horror film, and you want to simulate lighting. You can just kind of fake it with that. But then it also comes with like this siren 
kind of pulsing effect as if you're a police car, the, the black and, excuse me, the blue and red kind of lights flashing back and forth. That was something that I really needed for a short film that I, that I, that I made a couple of years ago called Undesired Effects. We're standing on the corner of what was a very disturbing and chaotic massacre. Police have the area cordoned off, so we can't get any closer. In that film, there's actually a scene there where I have some flashing lights. And the way I was able to achieve that was with an app that had like police lights in it. And the problem with it was the screen that I had on my tablet was not that bright. So it just didn't, it worked, but it wasn't great. If I had this thing, because it is so, so bright, it would have definitely sold the effect much better. So I wish I had it back then, but now I have it for future films where I need that effect again. And anyway, that's just a quick look at the Andy Cine R1 LED pocket light. Overall, I like it. I think it's a pretty cool light and I look forward to using it for more of my weddings and just future productions. If you found that helpful, please go ahead and like this video, share it with anybody else who you think may find it useful. And stay tuned in the very near future, I'm gonna be doing some reviews of some other lights. I wanna show you a couple of other lights that I use at weddings um, that I have found very helpful over this past year. So I'll go ahead and review those as well. And another light that's very similar to the Andy Cine R1, which is slightly different, but very, very similar. I'm gonna go ahead and compare the two in another future video as well, so stay tuned for that. Um, and as always, I'm Mike Turner. Thanks for watching, and I guess I'll see you soon.